Hello, this is SJ Talks of Life coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, please, and thank you. If you're on your phone, it's that button that's right down there. If you're looking at me on your phone, I want to. I just did a video um, about my Jazzy life. She's going through a breakup right now. If you haven't got a chance to check that out, go check that out. And um, I, I mentioned in the video that she has a lot of reactors on here. Um, the three mommies, Strong Mommy, Chrissy, Lil, um, they have a lot of reactors. And a lot of them are black female reactors. And they they get bashed on a consistent basis. basis. So I don't want to talk about, that's not what I want to talk about per se. But I thought it was important to bring that up because of the, I want to talk about the sisterhood. I want to talk about the sisterhood, our black sisterhood. I've mentioned in other videos where videos where I'm talking about black people need to come together and unify and this and that and other, the, the, the videos that no, that people don't really click on that much. Uh, they just focus on when I, when I talk about issues concerning black men, or issues concerning black women and you know they want to click on those videos and get mad at me for, for, for saying for, for stating the obvious um, and speaking the facts and the truth but then when I talk about the videos when I uh, where I'm address addressing the whole black race and talk about the issues in our communities and how we need to unify and and what we got going what we what we're going up against and stuff as a people nobody don't want to click on them videos nobody don't want to click on those nobody don't want to pay no attention to those it just seemed like the only time now that's not the only time because you know my views are picking up overall but when i when i do a video addressing let's say for example i do a video talking about deadbeat dads like deadbeat black deadbeat dads this hypothetically i'll get a i'll get a whole bunch of men um uh, in that comic section uh deflecting and saying you know getting mad at me because i'm stating the obvious this is this is a this is a problem in our community and you know i'm stating the obvious i'm talking about the issue that's a pacific pacific issue in the community and I'm not blast bashing black men per se, but I'm talking about a, a Pacific um, group of black men that like to walk out on their kids. So they'll click on that video and then come in the comic section and, you know, get pissed off at me because I'm stating the obvious. Um, and the same goes if I do a black a video addressing the black women, um, mainly um, it's mainly black men coming in and, and saying, yeah, uh-huh, you know, uh-huh, and you know, agreeing with me and stuff like that. They, they, those videos get good views. Some, you know, most of the time, sometimes, you know, but it's, I guess, other content that get good views too. But it seems like when I do the videos about addressing black people and, and talking about what we need to do and how we need to unify and stuff like that. Just addressing all black people, the whole race. I don't, it don't seem like I don't get a lot of clicks and views on those videos. You know, y'all don't pay nothing attention. Y'all don't pay those videos no attention. So it's, that's, that's frustrating to me. But, um, cause I don't, I don't, I don't just, you know, I don't, just talk about one specific thing is if you guys look at me on a regular basis you know i talk about a variety of different topics but i'm passionate about the black community and i'm not here to sugarcoat not going to sugarcoat anything and um or like if i talk about black femicide or something like that then black men will come in my comment section deflecting and that's like i i don't i, I don't want to hear that i don't want to hear deflection you know this is a this is a problem in our community Black women are losing their lives at alarming rates. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear deflection. I don't want to hear excuses. I don't want to hear that. You know, because that just let me know that you don't care. When you when you come in my comment section and and say all that deflection and all that, well, this you're you're pretty much saying in so many words you don't care. You don't you don't care what happens to black women. 
And I don't understand that if you got black women in your family. So, anyway, I'm not trying to get off topic, but I am off topic. But oh well. But I, I, I want to talk about our sisterhood, our sisterhood and our community, our black sisterhood. I've mentioned in other videos how our sisterhood is divided. Our black sisterhood is divided. And I'm just getting sick and tired of, you know, like right now, jazz is going, my jazzy life is going through a heartbreak. And then, uh, you know, black women are, you know, and I, and I get it that people trying to make money on here, but all money ain't good money. All money ain't good money. It's not okay to come on here and berate somebody and trash somebody for clicks and views. It's just not okay. And particularly if it's you a black woman, she's a black woman, other mommies are black women, amongst other black women, um, I'm a black woman, amongst other black women on YouTube. And for the most part, you know, um, I, I, I got, you know, I, I always get along good with my sisters, it, it, even on social media. Um, for the most part, I don't have too much of a problem. It, here and there, every now and then I might get a sister in my comment section that, you know, uh, I, I, I've had, you know, rare occasions where a, a, a sister would get a little ugly with me. Or, you know, I've, I've had to, uh, they got a, little, not a, got a little ugly with me in somebody else's comment section. But for the most part, you know, um, the sisters that look at my videos, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, they're pretty good. You know, they're pretty good. If I get any negative comments, it's usually nine times out of ten, it's coming from black men. And I get negative comments on here. Now, when I talk about um, uh, comments, like talking about like uh, racism or something like that, um, I might get every now and then get a white person coming in calling me a racist or something like that. But like I said, I'm not on here to sugarcoat. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell it like it is. Um, but for the most part, you know, I don't have no problems with my sisterhood over, over on my page um, and stuff like that. But then other content creators on YouTube, other black female content creators have an issue with black women constantly being attacked by other black women and this is not okay because because we need to be sticking together as black women we need to be sticking together because we got enough going against us society ain't got our back society doesn't care about us society doesn't have our back our black men don't have our back like they should like they should because I know there's a lot of black men out here that do love black women, but they don't stand up for us like they should. Now, I'm going to tell it like it is, okay? They don't go up to bat for us like they should. Because if something happened to a black man and the black man gets killed by the police, the black women are the first ones on the front lines. Why is it that the black women, they'll, they'll, they'll go up to bat for a black man before they will another black woman. But when that happened to Sandra Bland, remember Sandra Bland? Um, she, I believe she was under lie by the police. I, I do. Not one black man went out there to march for her. Not one black man was out there on the front lines. And, 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 and it does happen to black women. There's, there's been, there was a pregnant, a, a black woman that was pregnant and, and got stomped out by the police. These kind of things do happen to black women black women do experience police brutality every now and then a black woman is unalive by the police now does it happen as much as it do with the black men no but it does happen and i don't see not one black man going out there on the front lines going you know protesting for the black women don't nobody never go up the bat for us nobody never protests for us nobody never you know, even, you know, we, we got to do a better job as black women uh, protesting and standing up for each other. And, and that's what our sisterhood is divided. And we need to come together as black women. And that's what bothers me, too. We got to come together as black women and stop trashing each other. Stop coming on social media and trashing each other and putting each other down. And, and you know, and a, a, a sister is... 
is uh, going through a bad relationship or she, she's dealing from the aftermath of a bad relationship, don't come on here and bash her. Offer her love and support. We need to be giving these sisters love and support, particularly us older black ladies with our younger sisterhood. We need to give them encouragement. And sometimes I know they're, they're looking at us like y'all bitter, y'all jealous. And sometimes it's a, it's a back and forth thing. But younger black women need to be more receptive to the older black women. Older black women be, need to be more receptive to the younger black women, you know. And we just got to stick together because I'm just sick of all this division. And I always, I'm always pretty vocal coming on here talking about how black people are divided. And we need to come together as a as a people, and we need to unify as a people. But then our 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 sisterhood needs to get stronger. Our sisterhood needs to get stronger, and because we need to give each other encouragement, encourages loving encouragement, and 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 give each other loving advice, not berating each other, not putting each other down, trashing each other, calling each other names, and. All this stuff, all these. That's why I said I've 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 talked about that before. I don't like all these different names that they want to put on these. I'm talking about black females. I'm not talking about black men right now. I'm talking about other black females get putting labels on black women, calling black women pick me's, mammies. Um. Okay. That stuff. That stuff is unnecessary. Because you got some black women that like to be red pill, and they like to side with the with the manosphere on a lot of things, and then they like to come back and trash black women. And I know that I know that there's a little bit of frustration because because some you got a certain percentage of black women that act a certain way and they do certain things. And we get judged as a whole. We do get judged as a whole. And our men have the tendency to judge us as a whole. So if one black woman does something bad, then it does re bring reproach on the rest of us. And I think that's a part of the reason why a lot of those women do go off on black women. Because they they getting tired of, you know, there's certain black women that do certain things and then they make us all look bad. And I get that and I understand it. But a lot of things that's going on, it's a root cause of it. It's a root cause as to why a black woman might be behaving a certain way, why she may be doing certain things. It's always a root cause to it. So, I don't know. I just, I just, I, I just hate, I'm just tired of the fact that our sisterhood is divided. We need to stick together more because we don't really have the support of our men like we should. We don't have the support of society um and uh, i was just looking at brother umar uh, umar johnson's video earlier and there was a black woman that came on there and was saying that um uh she was a nurse that they had a uh her and a group of other black nurses had to file a discrimination lawsuit because um they're dealing with some racial discrimination on the job and see black women have to deal with these things i've had to deal with it in the workplace Black women have to consistently deal with these things all the time, and and um, so we we got a lot we got a lot going against us as black women. You know we, you know they want to put the whole community on our shoulders. A lot of us are raising children without fathers in the home. Um, you know, our marital rates are low. We got a lot going against us, and so the last thing we need to be doing is. Being against each other, fighting each other, arguing with each other, calling each other names. You know, um, it's just, we, we, we got to do better. We got to do better, sisters. And that's why I advocate for black women on here. I'm not an advocate for trashing black women. You know, now I am, I am going to speak the truth. If there's a specific issue, like, you know, I talk about, like the video I did about black baby mamas. I'm going to keep it 100 because I want my sisters to do better. I want my sisters to be better. It's not coming from a place of judgment. I just want my sisters to be better. And I want my sisters to do better. And I want them to make wiser decisions. You know. And so I and I've been there done that. And so 
that's something that I can constantly speak on because I I speak from experience because I was a single mom a ba- in a baby mama, unfortunately. And so I hate having that label. I hate it, but it ain't nothing I can do about it. It is what it is. But um, I was a baby mama. I had to be a single mother. So when I do those videos, I come from a place of, of, of being there, done that, not trying to judge, but I just want to see my younger sisters coming up behind me to do better, okay? Make better choices and make better decisions. So, um, but what you don't hear me doing is coming on here bashing, you know, bashing black women and all this kind of stuff. And it, it, and um, I will talk about certain issues, but don't bash, you know, because like I said, I'm an advocate for my sisters, and, you know, we have to do better. And we have our children looking up to us. We have our children that are looking up to us. And if we do better, then they'll do better. We have to lead by example. Us older black women have to lead by example. And, and the ones, the younger ones that's raising children and bringing up our black children, we you got we to gotta lead by example and show them how they should move. So they can make better decisions and all that kind of stuff. So it's it does go it does does go down to our children, and so we just we gotta stick together as black women. We gotta stick together as black women, and it, like I said, it would be nice if a whole bunch of us could get together and go to Washington and go before Congress and talk about them getting that anti hate bill out for black women and children. And we can get that instituted and get that up there. If a bunch of us black women can get together and do that, that would be great. See, I'll be thinking about stuff like that, you know. And um, But all this coming on social media and bashing each other and putting each other down. It's kicking each other when we when a black woman is down. You see a sister down instead of lifting that sister up and giving her words of encouragement, loving words of encouragement. You want to kick her while she down. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. And a lot of them sisters know that's not cool. You know, these reactors and stuff. And then they know that's not cool, but they're doing it for clicks and views. You you, you, you kicking your sister down because of clicks and views? Really? You know? You do that for clicks and views. You do that for money. All money ain't good money. And so that's what I'm saying. As black women, we got to do better. You know, we got to do better. We got to stop all this, you know, being against each other and, and all this kind of stuff. Because, you know, hope the society, society as a whole ain't got our back. Our, our, men don't, our men don't have our back like they should. You know, they're coming on social media and trashing us on the daily. A lot of us. Not, not all of them, but a lot of them. You know, YouTube think it's okay to take Cynthia G off, but she don't want to take some of these uh, black women bashers off. They don't want to take some of these black women bashers off, but it's okay for them to, to, to shut her down, you know. But I already addressed that, but yeah. But yeah, that's what we got to do, sisters. We got to do a better job of sticking together. You know, we our sisterhood needs to get stronger. And our sisterhood needs to get tighter, okay? We need to get tighter. We need to get stronger. We need to start ba- stop bashing each other and putting each other down, giving each other loving encouragement. Um, all black sisters, okay? Because that's what the enemy wants. That's what Satan wants. He wants us to constantly be at each other's throat. And that's what society wants, conquer and divide. I was actually supposed to do that video, but the way I wanted to do it, having a little bit of technical difficulties on my computer, um, but I'm still going to do that. That's what society wants. They want us to be divided. So, you know, so uh, the dominant race always, get, we got to remember the dominant race, which is the white race, always want to stay on top. Okay, so they don't want to see us. They don't want to see. They want to see us divided. They don't want to see us unified. That's their worst nightmare. And so that's what we get. That's what we need to be doing. We need to start unifying. That's the only way we're going to get anywhere. 
is we gotta we gotta stick together. The brotherhood gotta stick together too, but that's a whole nother video. But a sisterhood, we gotta get tighter. We gotta get tighter and we gotta do but better. Okay, so that's what was on my heart. Go ahead and hit that subscribe and, and, and let me know. Hit me up, sisters, in the comment section what your thoughts are. But yeah, that was on my heart and I gotta, you know, when something's on my heart, I gotta get it off my chest. So all right, go ahead and hit that subscribe, like, and share. Uh, and that notification bell. Until the next video, you guys be blessed.